Welcome back guys. I hope all of you will be fine. So this is question 4.62 and 4.63 and today we are going to solve both of them because that both of them are relevant with each other. So let us first solve question 4.62. If x and y are independent random variables with variance says sigma x square is 5 and sigma y square is 3 while sigma x square is the variance for x and sigma subscript y square is basically the variance of y we have to find the variance of the random variable which is composed of the combination of x and y and that is z equal to minus 2x plus 4y minus 3 okay so here we have to keep in your mind that the two random variables are independent of each other okay so this is the trick which we are going to utilize here in this question so let us first solve it and let me solve it here okay so let us first see that if we have a random variable z equal to ax plus by plus c so if i want to find out the variance of z which would be the variance of ax plus by plus c so this would be what this would be a square multiplied by the variance of x plus b square multiplied by the variance of y okay and also here we have to multiply with it 2 a b and covariance of x and y okay so this is the equation which we are going to follow in our question here okay so this is what which we are going to follow you have to keep in your mind that here this constant term has been reduced to zero because it has nothing to do with the variance here okay so this is the equation which we are going to follow here so now if the two random variables are independent of each other so in that case if the two random variables are independent of each other so it means the covariance or the relation in both of them is basically zero because none of them is dependent upon the other one so therefore in solution of the 4.62 i have to utilize this one and putting it here what would i do here i would get here the variance of z is equal to what this is equal to a square multiplied by the variance of x plus b square variance of y okay while the other terms because covariance is zero so 2ab will also be zero so therefore it would become zero here let me put all these values here so the value of a here is in this z is minus 2 so minus 2 whole square and the variance of x is 5 okay here similarly b square is how much that is 4 square because this one is b this is a and also variance of y this is sigma subscript y whole square and that is 3 so multiplying it it would be 3 so 2 to 4 4 5 20 4 4 16 and 16 3 48 okay so it would be what it would be 68 and that is what that is basically the solution for question 4.62 okay and that is what that is the solution of this one in question 4.63 what do we have to do we have to repeat the same question if and x and y are not independent means these are dependent upon each other and the variance or the covariance between both of them is also given that is sigma xy now let me utilize this equation here and in utilizing it and putting all these values here when both of them are dependent upon each other so this is 4.63 okay this would be variance of z equal to 
putting all these values as it is. So, a square variance of x plus b square variance of y and plus 2 a b multiplied by the covariance of x and y. Let me put all these values. Here it would become minus 2 whole square and variance of it is 5 plus 4 whole square variance of y is 3 okay as it is plus 2 a is minus 2 b is 4 okay and the way covariance here is 1 okay which is given here so let me find it out and it would become variance of z would be equal to 2 to 4 4 5 20 plus 4 4 16 16 3 48 and this would be 4 to 8 8 to 16 and this is what minus 4 to 8 8 to 16 so this would be minus 16 and the answer of it when we will find it out it would be 52 okay so that is what that is basically the solution for the question 4.60 and here it is so you have seen that there is a huge difference comes when we have the two random variables are dependent or independent of each other uh, because in the case when two are independent of each other there is no role of this covariance and this is zero while once these are dependent upon each other the covariance between them occurs and that is the difference between them okay so that's it for today if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon